Tengok sesek pun yang mainnya, kat mana. Good afternoon, teacher I am. Hello, Vivi. Good afternoon. Hello, Vivi. Good afternoon. Oh, wait a minute. This is not. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, good afternoon, Vivi. Can you please open your camera? Yes, with me. Yeah. Can you see me now? Yes, Vivi. Okay. So, wow, your hair looks nice. How are you today, Vivi? Mm, I'm very well. How about you? Ah, oh, I feel good. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now, Vivi, how's the weather in your place? It's windy. It's windy here. It's sunny. Yeah. Can you see the screen clearly, Vivi? Yes. Very good. So we are now in Unit 43, entitled Along the Beach. Yeah. What are the things? Do you like to go to the beach? Yes. Okay. What are the things that you can see when you go to the beach? I can see fish, shell, and sand. Yes, very good. So let's learn the words from our vocabulary. We have towel. Towel. Do you bring towel. towel when you go to the beach, Vivi? Yes, I do. How many towel do you bring? Mm, I pick two for my family. One for me and my uh, and my sister. One for my parents. Yeah. Okay. Next wave. Wave. What can you do in the wave, mm. Vivi? I can play with the wave in the beach. Yeah. Okay. Next, shell. Shell. Do you like playing with shell or finding shells? Yes, but mm, it's not a lot in my in uh, my country. Yeah. Okay. Well, can you please repeat all the words here, Vivi? We have tower. Wave, shell. Very good. So now, here, the wet t-shirts, look at the pictures and you tell a story. So this is Nick and Sam. Can you please look at the picture? Okay. Sam and his brother Nick are at the beach. Their clothes are on the sand by the sea. Sam and Nick are playing football. So now, Vivi, I want you... To tell the story. Yes. Mm. Mm, the, um, Sam and Nick are uh, play with the sand. Mm, they are looking for shell. Mm. And they are. Uh, Mm, find a lot of shell. Mm. Nick and Sam are mm, are find uh, their clothes on the beach. <laughs> Next, talking from the water, mm, 
that mm, there is they are closed but it's wet mm, and uh, they and Sam and Nick mm, take on the um, take mm, the clothes on mm, on uh, the body. Mm, mm, they are going home, I think. Great job, Vivi. Are their t-shirts wet? Mm, no. Okay, so here, in reading and writing part five, the sentences that you have to complete always appear in the same order as in the story, but some keywords in the sentence completions may be different from the keywords in the story. For example, water, the sea, brothers or boys, tried to find or look for. So those are just examples. So for this one, Vivi, I want you to complete the sentences about the story. You can write one, two, or three words. Okay, please read that one and you write your answer, Vivi. Yes.
Teacher, I'm done. Mm, I um, write the an my answer in my notebook. I'm done. Sorry, teacher, I can't hear you. Okay. So are you done, Vivi? Where's your answer now? Mm, it's in uh, on my notebook. Ah, okay. Because so I uh, I using um, phone to uh, study, then yeah. writing is um, hard. Yeah, it's okay, Vivi. I understand. So now, Vivi, I want you to read the story and also your answer. Yeah. Can you please read? T-shirt. Last Tuesday, Sam, uh, Sam and his brother went for a long walk. Mm, uh, uh, for a long walk along the beach. They put their towels and clothes down their favorite place on the sand and play football. And then play football. Then they ran and jumped into the waves. Mm, number one, after the game, the boys ran and jumped into the sea. Very good. The boys swam under the water to look for shells and see, see animals. Then they swam around some big rocks and when they are tired clamped up uh, out of the water and sat on them to watch the sailing boats then Nick saw something orange in the water by their feet, uh, feet. he picked it up uh, he picked and said, look, it's your orange t-shirt, Sam. You put it into the into near the sea. Mm -hmm. Number two, Nick and Sam went to find some shells and sea animals under the water. Then the boys sat on the rocks, watched boat, uh, shelling boats. Very good. Nick and so, uh, Sam's, uh, Sam's t shirt in the sea. Then Nick saw his green t shirt in the sea to said, Quick, Sam, get it for me. The brothers swam back to the beach with their white t shirt. Then they got there. The boys, um, uh, no, uh, only one of their shoes was on the sand. We put um, those two near the sea too, Sam said. They walked to the bus stop in their wet clothes and then caught a bus um, home. When they took a uh, told their parents everything, Mom said, "You must be more careful." But we are happy that you are both um, both safe. Mm -hmm. 
that added. Mm -hmm. Number five, the boys lost their uh, lost three shoes of their uh, three of their shoes in the water. Very Nick good. and Sam stood by a bus stop to wait for the bus. Great job. Number seven, their parents happy because were happy because the boy were were both safe. Okay, because the boys were both safe. Very good, Vivi. You got a perfect score of 7 out of 7. So now, I want you to read the sentences and you find the words. For example, can you please read number 1? Number 1. After swing, you can dry your body with these towels. That's, how about number 2? Number 2. Swimsuits. Shoot, uh, shorts and skirts are uh, example of the mm, it's mm, mm, it's swim uh, clothes. Okay, this is clothes. <clears throat> How about number three? Number three, this is under your feet when you walk on a beach. It's mm, mm, it's mm, I forgot it. Yeah. What's under your feet when you walk on the beach? It's um mm, it's I forgot this word. Okay, so what are the things that you see on the beach, uh, Vivi, when you walk? Mm, it's mm, shoes or uh, sandals. Wait, when you walk on the beach, mm, what can you see? This is I the floor see. of the beach. Yeah, this is the floor of the beach. It's sand. Very good. Okay, how about number four? Number four, you can climb up or down, uh, up or onto these. They are often gray. What's mm. that? Mm. It's ah. rock. Okay, yes, it's a rocks. How about number five? Number five, you need a ticket <coughs> to travel on this mm, town, uh, on this in town. It's a bus. Okay, very good. How about number six? Number six, these people are your mother and your brother is parents. Great job. So you got a perfect score of six here. So let's talk about you and the beach. Do you live near a beach, Vivi? No, I don't. Um, don't. I live on. Um, um, I live near the mountains. Ah, so that's province, right? Yes. Okay. So are you good at swimming? Yes. I. Uh, uh, yes. Who teach you how to swim, Vivi? Mm, it's my uh, it's um, the friend of my mother. He's a uh, she's a teacher. A swimming teacher? No, it's um, PE teacher. Ah, PE teacher. She uh, teach swim and PE. Yeah. Okay. So when do you go to the beach, Vivi? I go to the beach in the summer. Okay, in the summer. So, what things do you like doing on the beach? Mm, I like to make a cast, uh, a sand castle, and play with the waves. Okay, that's good. So, swimming in the sea or swimming in a swimming pool? Mm, I swimming in the swimming pool. Why? Sometimes I go to uh, 
sometimes I go to the beach, but in it when I don't have to swimming. Ah, oh, you don't swim when it's raining? No, because it's when I don't know how to swimming. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So here, do you like jumping in the waves? Yes, I do. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what's your favorite sea animal, Vivi? Mm, eight. Eight. Mm, dolphin. Dolphin. Yeah, they are very friendly. Are you frightened of any sea animals? Yes, I afraid uh, uh, frightened mm, the shark. Why? Mm, because it's dangerous. I'm very uh, and I see the mouth is very big. I scared. Very good. Okay. So here, Vivi, thank you for answering my question. So let's proceed with part D. I want you to read the sentences and you write or you tell me the words which means the same. For example, take something off the floor. That means pick something up. How about number two? Number two, <coughs> have a swim or uh, a walk. It's... Mm, go for a swim or a walk. Very good. How about number three? Number three, take a bus. Is catch the a bus. Okay, that is catch a bus. How about number four? Number four, email. Search an email. What? Uh, send an email. Very good. How about number five? Number five, put on your clothes. Mm, get mm, mm, get mm, I don't know after what. You don't know? Put on your clothes. This is get dressed. How about go to the shops? Go to the shop is go shopping. Great job. You got five out of six here. So now, let's match two words that sound the same but look different. For example, right, right. What else, Vivi? Right. Like, you need to write on the board and write which is correct. Uh, have uh, the same sounds, but they have different meaning. So, what other two pairs of words? It, uh, where, where, uh, where, and where. Very good. What else? And mm, pair and pair. Great job. Pair and pair. Uh huh. Hmm. And hmm. Hmm. Red, read. Yeah, red and read. What else? Hmm. Eight. Sun and sun. Very eight. Um. Eight and eight. Okay. Mm, no and no. Mm -hmm. No and no. Okay. Um, I and eyes. Very good. What else? Mm, C and C. Okay, C and C. What mm. else, baby? Aunt. It's um, aunt. Aunt and okay, and four and four. Great job. So those are the pair of words. So now, Vivi, 
I want you to try to make some sentences with some pair of words. For example, I write with my right hand. I've got a fly in my eye. So what's your sentence? Eight. I have a pair of pear. I have a pair of pear. Very good. What else? Mm. 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 Where of uh, where of the shots of uh, Mm, where are the shorts of she wear? Where are the shorts that I wear? Yeah. Okay, what else, Vivi? One more. Mm. Mm. Eight. Yeah. Mm. Eight. Mm. I ooh, I was read the red book. Great job. Okay, mm. or it can be also there are eight apples that I ate yesterday. I ate eight apples yesterday. Okay, so now Vivi, how many pictures can you see? I can see two pictures. Okay, so now I want you to circle the differences of this picture and you tell me. Yeah. Teacher, I have done now. Okay, so now tell me their differences, Vivi. Yes. In the, in the picture one, I see the dolphin. But in the picture two, I see hmm, the different fish. In the picture one, I see... um. Three girls are swimming, but in the uh, in the picture one, I see two girls are playing in the in the sea. But in the picture two, I see three girls are playing in the sea. In the picture one, um, the boy having a blue t-shirt. I see he had. Uh, he had a, a, a red hat, but in the picture two, I can't see it. Uh, uh, in the picture two, I see the red hat. It's on the sand. 
in the picture one, I see two um, two boys are playing uh, are playing with the shell, are talking about the shell. But in the picture two, I see they are playing with the ball. In the picture one, in the picture one, I see. Mm, I see the the mm, I see uh, mm, the mm, uh, the boy is sitting on a uh, mm, Purple and and yellow, yellow, yellow. Mat. Yellow mat. Yes. Why is sitting? On a yellow and um uh, purple mat, but in the picture too, I see he is sitting on a pink and blue mat. Okay, very good, Vivi, because you were able to find all the differences in this picture. Okay, so would you mind, Vivi, if we will just end the class because you know my stomach is aching. Yeah, I'm in pain, so I need to take medicine would you mind if we stop here do you have any question vivi no i don't okay so can we end the class early today vivi we will just extend next meeting okay yes uh, by the way did you make your homework yes where is it mm, now i will um it's on my mother's phone but um, I will, uh, I use my father's phone. Yes, don't forget. And can I, can I send it to the Zalo um, tonight? Yeah, sure. Okay, don't forget to send that one, Vivi. Thank you so much for joining our class. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, Vivi. Yes, goodbye. Bye. Bye.